Hello, Amarillo. Hello, Panhandle. Hello, U.S. Hello, Europe, China, Hawaii. We've all been doing pretty England. good lately. Yeah, yeah, even all across England and maybe even this. Well, welcome BBC. That could be our new thing there today. You go. There you so go. we'll talk about that. Rio. Well, Rio. Yeah, Rio. I think the last time we were talking, we were talking a lot of stuff from Digital Dealer 21, and, mm-hmm. and Brad uh, had a session, and we had a session, and just had a blast, and met a whole lot. You're fine, Bev. Come on in. It doesn't bother a thing. So <laughs> we're used okay. to it. Don't even worry about it. So we had great sessions. We talked a lot about stuff, and Jody, we told people about you, and we passed out some of your books. I and, appreciate that. What we need to do real quick is just kind of go back. I'm going to let you tell us about you. All right. I am a motivational speaker, trainer, and author. Written 18 books. Traveled to 14 different countries doing speaking and training for organizations. Work a lot with healthcare and a lot with sales groups right now. Out of little old Amarillo, Texas. Out of little old Amarillo, so this is Texas. just one more of those of, of, of all the little home gyms we have in Amarillo. So. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. I, I have an absolute blast working with you guys. One of the... Uh, <laughs> quirky gifts that I've developed over the years is the ability to read people in the first 10 seconds that you meet them. <laughs> yeah, so, my, my relatives, you know, back that Luciano name, we had that same thing, but it didn't, <laughs> end, it didn't end as well as yours. <laughs> no, no. There was a 10 second call there, but it was different. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully mine but is not dangerous. The yeah. expression on the face was kind of similar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so good. So we're going to do a little bit of that today. I'm not sure I'm really prepared to hear this. But, so uh, we will, I, I'm so. going to tell you, it's all good on you, John. You don't have to worry <laughs> oh, too much. Yeah. Oh, now, now he's just brown nose in the deal. So, okay, so, so I'm, I'm going to point out. look at you? Oh, no, 10 seconds. My 10 seconds yeah, is up. The second I looked at you, I already knew. So if you look at his chin that kind of comes out, that means he likes to talk, which <laughs> is the whole motor mouth thing that works nicely there. <laughs> Boy, isn't that the truth? Okay, yeah, look at the little lines. So that's one. Where's, we got a little chalkboard here. Yeah, there's there one. Go. <laughs> so little lines that come off and down on both sides. It means you like to teach skills to other people. I thought that was lack of sleep, but okay. No, 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 Car that's, business. That's, yeah, that's the the bags. That's totally. Brad, this is what area. you have to look forward to. Thanks. I just want you to know. <laughs> so John's mind also, you see one line that goes all the way across. So on <laughs> this spe- not an eyebrow. Is no, 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 no. no, no. Okay. That's a, that was a little John out there. It's a single eyebrow. So yours is tenacity. So what you start, you like to finish. I do. Uh, and you also see that you've got individual lines that run over there, which means that you have a diverse set of interests. So you're tenacious on what you do at work, and then your mind jumps around on the things that you're interested in. I thought that was just ADD. Just yeah. jumping. Well, you can call it whatever you want. <laughs> well, I'm going to be more proud of it. No, I just have one of those minds that jumps around. It it's just jumps really around. Right. Yeah. Squirrel? Yeah. But you also notice the center of your face is a little wider, which would indicate that you're trustworthy and dependable. So when you You're have in the car business, yeah, yeah, yeah that's amazing, scary. Huh? So good guy to buy a car from, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. the nasolabial lines running all the way around indicate you're a great communicator. So you like interacting with people. Your eyeballs kind of. stick out somewhat, which indicates you like attention and <laughs> do not like no, being I, interrupted. I, I hate attention. So <laughs> other side of that though is your eyebrows go under the brow ridge, which means that you don't have a very big filter between your brain and your mouth. <laughs> Wow, Kat, so, that was just for you. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. And then your hairline, which I don't have one, but your hairline indicates that you have the capacity for long work hours, which is a good thing in the car business as well. <laughs> it's a very so good you really hit a good career for the design of your face. Wow, that's awesome. So you can t- tell us some of the books that you teach part of this one. So one of the books is Hypnotic Selling, and I took three different sciences and blended them together. I've got Neuro Linguistic Programming, which is understanding a person's language pattern and then adapting to the way that their mind works. So with your ears being small compared to your head, that means you're a visual processor. So if I was going to teach you something, I would create a comparison or I would show you. So think about that from a sales setting. Uh, For people who are visual, they need to actually see all the features on the car. If they are an auditory processor, they need you to explain the features. And a lot of times they look more towards safety and things like that because they're logical processors, or if they're kinesthetic and their ears flip inside out, that's an individual that wants to just test drive the car and feel it. No matter what you say or what you show them, until they drive it, it doesn't matter. And so we blend- Great great things to know so that you're not saying something to somebody that they just don't want to hear or pushing them into something. That's awesome. So we need to, hopefully, this is your first challenge there, big boy. We need to have the book up right here so they know exactly which Absolutely. one it yeah. is. Yeah, hypnotic so selling. So then, okay. then you add conversational hypnosis in. And from a sales standpoint... I've been accused of that before. If you know how to anchor ideas in people's mind, you really simplify the process. And it's simple things. Once you have used what's called mirror neurons, so you pace the person, okay. and then you start leading their behavior patterns, 
then you can plant anchors. Like, hey, this afternoon when you guys go to lunch and you're thinking about which of these two cars you're gonna buy today, I want you to remember and you'll plant an idea. But what happens is they go to lunch and then all of a sudden, without them realizing it at a conscious level, right. they're thinking, okay, which of those two cars would I wanna to buy today? That's awesome. And you put it back in their mind. And there's some specific things that you do. And as I do the training, it's obviously a lot more in depth than just the book, but it's a whole lot of fun to be able to do that. Because if you can go, that's who that person is, here's who I need to be to be the salesperson for them, your well, closing ratio triples. Well, it's got to. That's just awesome. And so we've had him speak to our sales force already once, and they had such a kick out of it. Yeah. And so we're going to do it again. And we gave them a copy of the book. And so they're pretty thrilled about that and learning it. So it, and. From what I understand, you and Brad are working on a book? Yeah, we're actually going to work on a, on a how-to book called Adulting. And we, well, I need some of that. Yeah, I have two teenage daughters, and yeah. Brad and I Brad's both... Brad's still a teenager. Yeah, Brad still acts like a teenage. Not a daughter, but, you know. <laughs> well... Well, it depends <laughs> on the day. And so, there's so many things that kids these days are just not prepared for when they get out of high school. They don't know how so to true. get their car serviced. They don't know how to... Change a tire, write a check. Order pizza. Mail a letter. Uh, mail a letter. You know, we were talking yesterday with uh, Byron Taylor's going to come on and help us with the book. So we talked yesterday, Jody and I. Tell us who Byron, Byron Taylor is. He's a he's an inspirational speaker and entertainer here. He's big in Toastmasters. You know. Yeah, he's a master storyteller. Yeah. Awesome. So he's very good at engaging you on the side of the story. So that's a talent. It is very, a, much very much a talent. A talent. Yeah. That's awesome. So we're all kind of, all three kind of working together and. Um, on the book, and uh, we actually have a survey uh, that you can take. Chris is going to link it up behind you. Perfect. Um, so, so um, if you take that survey, you get entered to win a hundred dollars Starbucks gift card. Yep. So, uh, we're working Compliments on Compliments to our friends at Starbucks. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, once we give them a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Once we give them a hundred bucks, it's exactly true. I, I did go into Starbucks one time, um, talking about watching people's reactions. I was doing a study on building teams and we were using three different universities and we were giving every participant a $10 Starbucks card. And I walked in and I said, um, I need to purchase 382 $10 Starbucks cards. And they went, are you kidding? I'm like, no. They're like, really, 382? I said, yep, I have 382 participants in this survey. I need 382 cards. So I spent. Come back tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. No, that they, guy's not here today, but he's here tomorrow morning. They only had 400 cards in stock. And so I bought 382 of the 400 little plastic cards and That's passed awesome. those out. So, you know, wow. $3,820. Chris, your ghost just showed up that keeps taking the curtains down. So that was pretty interesting. So, hi, Cindy. So, How are you? Come on through. Tell us a little bit about the stuff that you're going to be doing in the community here pretty quick. You have so, yeah, we've got a Leadership 2.0 that I'm working with, Leadership Amarillo and Canyon. It's taking Wonderful it beyond. Group. Lisa, oh, it's Lisa Blake and her group. Oh, yeah, awesome. she's awesome. I went through it, enjoyed it to death. It was so awesome. we're taking it one step past the community connection. We've had a lot of alumni wanting to be able to really learn leadership skills okay. specifically. So it's how do you become a person of influence? What are leadership styles? How do you handle power and politics at work? Cool. So it goes really in depth into how do you go from understanding you as a leader to transforming an organization, changing your culture, that kind of stuff. I'm doing the same thing in Florida, and I'm doing the same thing. We just got a deal set up for doing this in Abilene. That'll be awesome. What about the uh, the lunch? Lunch thing. Oh, I'm doing a lunch and learn too coming up August 31st. It's on face reading. I do one lunch and learn every month. It's a cheap way for people to get That's a little cool. bit of training and a great steak. Where's that? Hofbrau Steaks on August 31st. Okay. So you sign up at jodyholland.com. $25. It includes your lunch. I've done them That's on a deal. how to be a supervisor, on leadership skills. I've done them on a number of different topics, but every single month I do a new one. I've always got it at the lunch and learn tab on jodyholland.com. Okay, so so if you ever need some cheap training, that's a good be way involved to do it. in that. That just sounds like too much fun. Oh, Absolutely. it's going to be a blast. Yeah. And I'm going to read a whole bunch of people in the audience that I've never met. Can you tell me anything like where the steak came from about what kind of cow he was? Or uh, how, how you know, far back you know you I've, see I've the really cow. tried to read animal faces, and I have not crushed that one yet. <laughs> yeah, as soon as the biscuit comes out, it's just all yeah, it's all over. Yeah. Yeah. Can you read Pokemon Something. faces? Yeah. You know, what's really funny is cartoon characters, the same as in Hollywood, they design faces or they recruit actors based on what they want you to feel related to that character. Yeah. So yes, they've you can actually read. Years, huh? Yeah, yeah. They, they've always known how to do that. 
The science I use, physiognomy, has been around for almost 3,000 years. So it's not like a brand new thing. It's just that most people have not learned how to take it from medicine into personality and relationships. That's awesome. So I have a blast cool. with it. And it yeah. it's hard to turn it off, though. I will tell you that. <laughs> There's certain times that you're like, oh, I really wish I didn't know that about that person. Wow. Tell it must, us, must us. have made da- dating interesting, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have known it back then. Oh, okay. That's now true. with two daughters, I read this, the faces of the boys that come by. And I did have one that I went, yeah, you've been smoking weed and you're not taking my daughter out. And he's like, no, I haven't. I said, oh, really? Because I had a private investigator follow you. And he's like, you did? Yeah. And then no, he, just get he out of here. He fell for it. Yeah, yeah he oh fell for gosh. it. But yeah. tell, us, tell us the one person to stay away from. That you- okay, so when you look at a person's face, if you see the cheekbones kind of come out and it comes almost to a V with the chin and the top half of the iris is cut off and you see three little lines, like little ripples in the jaw, that is a person who is disillusioned with relationships. It's kind of how they draw it, the devil a lot, right? Yeah, it or, is. or that character. Yeah, sorry, and yeah, you think about all of the, really the crazy it's people, the mass murders that we've yeah. seen, that's kind of what they look like. Now, if you see somebody that, that you see the white, the sclera all the way around the eye, mm-hmm. they have disconnected from reality. If you see mm-hmm. ones that have the top half of the iris cut off and the sclera underneath, they've disconnected and they're violent. Wow. And so I studied under a lady that really created the profile system that the FAA is supposed to have been using. I don't know how well they use it, but yeah. That's awesome. So, but it's it's really interesting to be able to see that. So if your pilot has those characteristics, you really want to. You want to get on the next flight. Excuse me, check please. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to take that last chance to get off. So, but yeah, it's. He's got the oxygen mask on when you get on the plane. I just just need to breathe. I just need to breathe. Yeah. So now, other interesting, you want know, to see the people that beat themselves up, if they have their lower teeth are really crooked, mm-hmm. those are the people that are really difficult on themselves. Wow. And so you're, they're always going to struggle from a sales standpoint. They say, well, I'll never be good enough. I'm not going to be able to do this. And there is a profile of a salesperson that can, you want to. Can you get past that? I mean, is it, Oh, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's a trait, but you can't fix it. Yeah, quite literally, if okay. you change your belief, your face will start to shift as well. Wow, that's cool. Your, the structure of your teeth, the way your eyes set, even your ears that's will change. That's where the halo's changing. That's the right, yes. So. You are the holy one. How do, I, how do I get my hair to look like John's? <laughs> Uh, hair club for men. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a, it's Same a place I'm going to have to so go. Like I, the, we're not going to say any no names. It's just a guy that used to be a coach of the Cowboys. You just kind of oh, chase okay. it like that. I, I get to hear that can all you, the time. Can you so. link up Jimmy Johnson up there? <laughs> <laughs> I get that lots. Yeah. So, all right. I think uh, our time is up. I've enjoyed it. Awesome. it. We're Thanks gonna, for We're going to do this again and get this posted up. And, and uh, if you get a chance, give me your website again. JodyHolland.com. J-O-D-Y-H-O-L-L-A-N-D. Couldn't find anything like easier to remember. I know. I, I mean, trying, you know, come on. Try not to be too tricky <laughs> on that one. That's a good one. So, or I believe we probably have links, or we'll tie links, or we'll soon to have links. So just go to streetvw.com, go to Motormouth, go to any of the crazy things that we do. As always, we thank you so much for what you do and that you listen. This is just one more of those gems that we have in Amarillo, and we're going to cover more of those as we continue through these things. And we've we've already done some of them with the, you know Daryl Blitzo and some of the other guys that we do business with and then we do functions with. We're talking more about the charities and the fun work that we do. We had an amazing kickoff today with United Way. Absolutely. It was a great kickoff. Uh, our general manager of our Toyota store, Mike Good, is the president of that this year. We've got a four and a half million dollar uh, goal to hit tonight. After seeing today's crowd, 600 I people showed up, big sellout. Yeah, I think it's okay. I yeah. think that one's gonna do really well this year. And it's a lot of fun. If you don't know anything, go, go read about the United Way. Just an amazing thing. 30 main companies that they work with, but under those 30 the umbrella, it gets up into the, there's probably 120 or so groups or active, different different yeah. active groups in El, Paso, in El Paso, in Amarillo that we help. And there's active. probably more than that that graduated out of United Way, like the yeah. Bridge and you know, a lot of different ones that started there to get help. And, and, then they, and now doing okay. Now yeah, now they're on their own feet and, yeah. and helping That's others. That's the goal. Yeah, so just a, just a great group. But Amarillo, you know, in the panhandle of everybody that watches and participated and does business with us. We love you and we thank you so much for being our partner through all this. And, and Jody, you're a great partner with us Thanks. too. Hey, I was gonna Enjoy. throw it out there. The, the first 20 people to make comments, if they'll get an email over to you with their face, I'll read their face and send them a profile back of who they are. Oh, how fun. Absolutely. So send us that picture. That would be really, really fun. 
Yeah. So you, are your sins money you don't like or do like? Or if you're <laughs> yeah. just checking you're out. trying to figure you're, out your girlfriend's crazy yeah, or yeah, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Or, if, or if your daughter's dating some guy and you got a quick Snapchat yeah. of him or whatever, send it in to send us. It. Let's just see what it is. We may get to help. So as always, thank you so much, guys. We love you. Take care.